Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. I wanted to share some policy envelopes that I made messing around with some files on my Cameo Silhouette. I do wanna go back and tweak what I did because this little strip here is too long. So what I was going for is a policy envelope with the little perforated um, opening so once you seal it it has the separated thing that you can open like you get in a package and I made this tab just a little too long so I stretched this file this was already an envelope for a card and I'll leave the design information below but I stretched it as far as I could get it for a 12 by 12 sheet and it's nine and one quarter or one fourth by five and then the perforated part is actually like a zipper file. There's three in the file that I have and I just attached it to this envelope and it made this little opening piece, but I need to kind of scooch it that way so this won't hang out so far, but I'm not gonna not use these. I am gonna use these. And then I just used one of the shapes and created this huge oval in the center and it's about what size of my ruler it's about seven and a half inches wide so i created this one and i just took the negative piece and put it inside the envelope so if you just had something short you would still have a really cute background use some ephemera pieces from my stash and I'll share with you that collection and I just have the tape here so when I seal it it'll be ready to go and then when the recipient gets it they can open it up so that's the first one and then I made this one same concept same size just a different paper and this is going to go with that um, charcuterie or cutting board shape box that I made for my 3D Thursday with Arva and Arva's Craftopia. This is gonna go with that as a gift set and I'm gonna make a card and probably one more little box and then I'll send that off to the person that it's going to. I just use ephemera from that collection. And then I have one other that I'm going to put together in this video just to kind of share with you what I did. So, this one right here, this first one, was made with this paper that I recently hauled um, from Hobby Lobby. It was on clearance for $5.49. It's called Preppy Petals. Lots of pinks, greens, blues, whites. And then this one with the scissors was made with the I'd Rather Be Crafting by Lori Whitlock. That's that one. And the one that I'm gonna do, and let me just share with you the ephemera. The ephemera on the preppy one is the good vibes, the crepe paper good vibes. I just have it in this plastic bag. And then I have some of these odds and ends by Doodle Pop. And I also have a Doodle Bug uh, sticker sheet because that one is cut out of the Doodlebug Hey Cupcake 12 by 12 and the sticker sheet was in this one. So I'm gonna use that. I've already pulled a few pieces out and the acetate that I've been using because I can't find that um, film that I used to get from Michaels, I bought a bunch of these 12 by 12 clear plastic acetate sheets by American Crafts from Tuesday morning a long time ago. It's 25 sheets in each one that was only $4.99. So I've been trying to break these out and use these because I think I have three packs of these. There's 25 sheets in each one. So I'm using those up. So I'm going to use this sticker sheet here too. So this is what the file looks like when you cut it out. I already have my acetate as well. I just decided to go ahead and record it. So this is the file. This is how it looks. 
and like I said this I just enlarged it to a 12 by 12 this is just a regular envelope some line envelope I enlarged it I did the um, shaping tool created an oval here in the center and then I created my inlay piece just to cover the outside and then this is the negative piece that came out of that circle this is what I put on the back and I can share with you how I got it to be so even and then I have some ephemera pieces and like I said all I did was attach this little zipper to the file and it just cut it all out together so I'll be using the Barely Arts precision glue So I'll put some here. I'll go ahead and put it on my top closure. And then the bottom flap. I think I got glue on them. The bottom flap. Um, and then this piece right here this is how I got it so straight so I just took it and put it on the inside of the plastic and then I put glue on the back of it so once I shut it or close the envelope it would just stick to the back in place And then I'll take the tape off one, this one side. Put some additional glue. And then make sure this is lined up. It don't have to be perfect because it's going to be on the inside. And then just shut this. And it sticks right to the inside of the envelope. And I'll take the tape off this bottom piece. Put some additional glue. And there's the envelope. Isn't that cute? I love Doodlebug. And then here's my inlay piece. I just did this out of that uh, Recollections gold foil paper. And I like the one that has the craft because it doesn't show the glue through the front. So I just put this on with liquid glue. And just laid it here as evenly as I could get it. Or not. <laughs> That's going to have to do. So with this one, the doodle book odds and ends is going to be a birthday one. So I thought about putting the word birthday across the front with happy. And then I have some little presents to go down here with the little hat. Just make it really simple, flat. Just in case I wanted to send something in a padded envelope, I don't have to worry about the bulk of it all because of course postage is going up. So this is how I'm going to decorate this one. Um, yeah, I'm not probably not just going to go through the process of gluing all this stuff down. But I will leave all of the design information down below. And I don't think I recorded any footage of me making this file. But once you see the two files that I put together, it's kind of self-explanatory. And of course, just use the shaping tool to cut out your shape here in the front. 
If you have any questions, please leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank y'all so much for watching. Stay safe and have a great day. Bye.